Right, now we're on to phase three. As you can see, we've got the machine stripped down from how you saw it earlier. We've cleaned out all the components, all the hair, all the grease, all the debris has been removed from the inside. And then the components have been checked. That's the armature. The armature has been cleaned up, as you can see there. And we found, because of the heat, the rear bearing was rattly. So the rear bearing that goes on there. So we've removed the rear bearing and we will change the rear bearing. We check the brushes. There's more than two thirds wear left on the brushes. So at this service, we won't put a new set of brushes in. If they get down to 50% or below, we'll put a new set of brushes in. Then the other thing that we found, again, because of the heat that we saw <coughs> in phase two, the heat has an effect on certain components. One of the components it can affect is this little component here, which is called a condenser or a capacitor. Most clippers have some form of condenser or capacitor in them. Now, it's difficult to see, but you will notice this is the one I've taken out of the machine. And if I bring it up closer to the camera, you can see across the top the little gray line. And that is where the liquid and jelly contents of this condenser are starting to seep through the seam in the end. And that indicates that this component is on its way to failing. So therefore we wouldn't put the machine back together with a faulty component in it. We'll fit a new capacitor. So when the machine goes back together, it will have had a new capacitor. It will have had a new rear bearing. It will have been stripped. It will have been cleaned, inspected, and then safety test. The other thing we do, which is a common thing with clippers, is where the lead goes in through the rubber sleeve in the back of the machine, you will imagine it flexes all the time, up and down, under the horse, over the horse, flex, flex. You will sometimes get a break that you cannot see underneath the insulation on the cable. So another routine thing we do on a service is we will cut approximately six inches off the cable. We will strip the cable back, we will re-tin the ends, and then we will reconnect the mains cable inside so it has a fresh start for when you carry on clipping the next time. So that really is phase three, and phase four will be the final reassembly of the machine and testing. Thank you.